How's your mom? <laughs> My mom? <laughs> She's good. Thanks for asking. No problem. How's Roscoe holding up? Good. Don't know what I'd do without that scoundrel. <laughs> yes, he is. Still eating food off the table? Only when I'm too tired to care, so always, I guess. I know the feeling. Rough times? Yes. I mean, I I'm sure not as rough. Not as rough? As not as rough? Riley. I didn't you mean, don't know rough. What you said in that disgusting diner with those loathsome excuse for friends. What were you thinking? I, I, I wasn't. No. I, on second thought, just shut up. There is nothing you could say. Why am I even here? Riley. I am sorry. Oh, shut it, Aunt Jess. I have lived in the choice and consequence of your friendship for months now. I've known you my whole life. How could you? So you invited me here so you could feel better about yourself? Is that it? You want me to make you feel better about sleeping at night with that idiotic mouth of yours? Well, let me tell you something, J.J. Johnson. I'm I dying. It's already stage four. Doctor, the third opinion I've gotten in the last three weeks says the same thing. Cancer? You? I have four months. Five tops. Can you believe that? Four months so you. We were headed to Italy, you and I. We were gonna rip it up at the, the Vatican and see all the olive trees, dance with those crazy Italian ladies, all while we were ordering wine that we couldn't pronounce. You're gonna die. Kind of puts a kink in our two-year plan, doesn't it, Rye? No, it can't. I I demand it. Oh, Riley, I am so sorry. I'm supposed to be mad at you for at least another five months. How could you leave me without that satisfaction at least? <laughs> Riley, I do love you. Jesse. Roscoe's gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs>